Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to add anchor links or some people call them jump links in WordPress. So the first thing we're going to need to do is go over to our post section and go to one of our posts. So I'm just going to go to this one. And then you're just going to go down to wherever you want your anchor links to be at. And then I'm just going to pick one of these here to use for an example. And so I'm just going to use this ingredients one right here. And so what you're going to want to do is highlight this. And then you're going to want to click on this little link button right here. And then so now what we're going to do is basically create a little code for this. And so to do that, we're going to type in first this little number symbol. And so since this post is about tomato soup, I'm just going to type in first tomato. And then I'm going to do a hyphen or dash and then I'm going to type in soup and then the other keyword right there which is ingredients and when you're doing these two you don't need to be really technical about it just kind of write something a little descriptive so again since this is ingredients I just put tomato soup ingredients and you're going to want to treat these little hyphens right here or dashes as spaces kind of they're just going to separate the words and then after that I'm going to go and take this right here not the number sign and I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to click on submit right here and so now you can see that little link right there so now if we go down to ingredients and you click on that right here you're going to notice when you do that on the right sidebar here the advanced section pops up you're going to see right where it says HTML anchor. That's where you're going to want to paste that in that you just copied. And then after that, you're going to click on update. And now we're going to go to view post. And if we scroll down here to where it says ingredients, there it is. And if we click on it, it brings us right here to the ingredients section. And then you would just keep doing that same thing over and over again for the rest of your anchor links until they're done and that's it. And so that's how easy it is to create an anchor link on WordPress. Also don't forget to check out my channel. It's full of tons of WordPress videos. I'm actually going to put a link in the description below this video to my full WordPress tutorial that you guys can check out. You can learn a ton of stuff from it, especially if you're a beginner. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.